Hello, hello, and hello to my Geminis. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading, Geminis. We just had a super new moon. Yes, super new moon on January 21st. Uh, super new you, super new year. We are still in new moon phase. So you're still feeling the effects of the new moon phase, which means rest. <laughs> rest your mind. You know, decide what seeds you want to plant for this particular cycle. Be okay with what you had to leave behind in the last cycle. You know, not only that, your ruling planet Mercury is post-shadow retrograde, um, which means that you still, everybody's still feeling the effects of communication, also uh, learning, knowledge. You all are ruled by that planet Mercury. It also affects your um, signing contracts. Um, communication in all forms. It can even affect travel, um, emails that you're waiting for or whatever. So let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading and let's see what, let's see what your cards have to say. This reading is for the 25th of January through the 28th of February. So let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Gemini. All right. So somebody is influencing a lot of people. Somebody has the fire in them to influence a lot of people in a leadership role. Like you can really lead people to finding the light within themselves. So this is great. This is great. A great start. Here we have the King of Wands. We also have the three of, make sure you see it. The King of Wands and the Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. We also have the Five of Wands. So something from the past could be trying to rear its ugly head to get you fired up and angry about something. And there could be some temptation to vibrate low with it. But see, people are in their own personal hell. So like I said before, you just want to keep your vibrations high. You're in a key position to help a lot of people. And so them getting you that burned up mad will burn right through your money. It'll burn through your reputation with people. It'll burn through your money. So be very, very careful, Geminis. And I know you all can do it. Like I said before, you all are mutable signs, but you don't have to go with the flow of somebody trying to start pick a fight with you, petty little quarrels, arguments, or even if they don't have access to you, sources saying, go ahead, your breakthrough is going to be to cut them off. Just go ahead and sever ties with it all together because it is too much at stake here. There's way too much at stake. And when you really think about your money, this wealth right here, King of Pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck, when you think about how your money is connected to your relationships with people, that's why some people are still broken in spirit and broke in money in terms of their bank account because they have poor relationships with other people. And so when people are saying, oh, I wish I had more money and that it's like they can't call on certain people to ask them for things because why? They give off this energy one minute warm, the next minute flame torching people. So I do see you moving beyond all of that by just severing ties with those types of energies. Here we have the six of swords. We have the eight of swords. We have the two of pentacles. We have the page of wands. We have the sun card and also the four of pentacles. So source doesn't want you to waste a whole lot of time. Four of pentacles is about being conservative with your energy. Your time is your money. You don't have time to waste on those type of people who keep burning you. Every time you think about them, you get burning, flaming, mad, upset, you know, that kind of thing. You're not, the messages aren't coming through as clearly for whatever reason, especially if you're a communicator and you're interacting with somebody who just, their energy just upsets you or frustrates you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. It's better to use your sword to go ahead and sever ties. And I see that's what you're doing. That's where your breakthrough is going to come through is that somebody may have been an overgiver. Keep giving people chance after chance after chance to become a better communicator when in actuality, it's, I just need to just cut you off. I need to cut you off and free myself from this because this is self-sabotage to stay in anything where you're not, you feel like the, the answers aren't coming through some, this is the communication isn't there. It doesn't matter what it is. Here we have the sun card. Somebody's going to feel like somebody's going to feel a lot more youthful. If you're in a situation right now in Gemini, it doesn't matter whether it's a job, a friendship, romantic relationship or whatever. You can look at it as the length of time you've been there and it's the reason why you're being loyal to it. Or you can say time really is relative. It really is an illusion. And I'm not wasting any more time allowing something to, to block my sunny disposition. Um, when we talk about the sun, we talk about sunny disposition. 
you know, blocking you from seeing your life purpose here. Somebody is a really, um, fiery kind of, when I say fiery, I mean like, um, inspirational fiery, like where people get excited around your energy. But if you still got people in your personal life or uh, your personal life or your professional life, either side of your life, that's not balanced at all. It, some something needs to happen. Something needs to change so that you can move beyond that. Here we have the two of pentacles and also the page of wands. So I do see some new inspiration coming across, whether it's this inspiration from this channel, me telling you this or somebody else's channel or a friend around you. Somebody is telling you, hey, it's time to move on from those types of energies, right? We have the two of pentacles. In the meantime, you can put that fire behind starting a new business, page of pentacles. So you could be working for an organization and also thinking about, I need to start a business, but I need to get away from people who get me that upset. I need to do something with my time. I love learning. I love helping people, inspiring people, but staying connected to certain people gets me too angry. It gets me too frustrated. It gets me too angry and I need to move on from it. So like I said, there is a temptation here. We see the seven of cups, but just remember... Do you want that to be tied to your name? Do you want something to be tied to your relationships with people? You you know, when I'm talking about the, the king of pentacles here, do you want that tied to your reputation? Here we have the ace of wands. We have the ace of cups. We have the judgment card. We have the star card. We also have the eight of cups. And also we have the chariot card. So somebody may be um, pausing before proceeding, you know, like somebody exhibiting a great deal of willpower here. Somebody may be pausing to do something. Again, there's a lot of temptation there, but source is saying in the meantime, I need you to sever ties with something and ascend higher. That's where your ancestors are very proud of you because they're saying in the meantime, instead of you getting that flaming mad and return fire with fire, you know, cause somebody upset you or whatever source is like, mm -mm, ascend higher. Because at a higher frequency, the very things that you've been praying for are going to, become, going to be released to you a lot sooner. So I do see somebody walking away, like calming down, calming their flame down a bit. See all of this water here? You see a lot of fire here where somebody was just, every time you think about somebody, you get steaming mad, flaming upset, and just want to somehow retaliate. But source is like, no, you got too much water that you can get around, whether it's a beach, a pool, a stream, a lake waterfall, ocean, <laughs> it's just too much water you can get near. So you can kind of sort of relax and calm down, like go on a vacation somewhere, get all of that out of your spirit so you can think clearly and make a decision. I need to go ahead and sever ties with that, right? So here we have the Ace of the ace of Cups. Again, you can express yourself to source, your expressions, all of that, emotions, the water, sacral chakra. Here we have the Ace of Wands. Again, Somebody's third eye is wide open about a situation and what source wants somebody to stop doing is getting burned out when it comes to certain people, places, and things that their energy just frustrates you. It doesn't have to be that deep, you know, it doesn't have to be that deep for somebody. Source really wants you to move beyond something, Gemini, so you can move forward. Yeah, you can move forward towards your throne again. Um, let's, let me look at these different suites here. We have the, um, we have the the king of wands we have the king of pentacles yeah so this is very balanced um energy here with sources trying to get somebody back on their throne um and so you want to pay attention you really really want to pay attention here we have the eight of swords we have the knight of swords we have the four of cups we have the full card we have the death rebirth card and the tower card so somebody's just really having an epiphany, just saying, you know what, let me just get as far away from it. I may be tempted to do something, but let me just physically get as far away from it. This is the Knight of Swords. See how this person is running away from something? But it's not that you're running away. You're like, let me just get as far away from vibrating low as, as I possibly can, right? I may have felt foolish in the past, but now I actually feel recharged and replenished refreshed see how this person is near water they're outside they're also grounding obviously there's air out there so you can think but that's what i'm saying somebody is like maybe on pause mode like wondering mm, should i proceed with something 
source was like just go ahead and sever ties and move forward just move forward so that you can get the things that you've been praying for some people are just tempted when they, especially when people are hurt they can feel like somebody's words or their actions burned them like a blowtorch or cut them like a, a deep like a, a sword but source says no nah, i need you i need you to ascend higher i need you to ascend higher right something stung like death like something was like somebody was mourning something or grieving something that just really hurt somebody deep and sources like it's draining you it's almost aging you at this point get as far away from it as possible and so somebody had an awakening somebody had an awakening an aha moment so um, the thoughts that you may have had something will come tumbling down like okay I thought one thing about a situation but when I when I took my energy away from it, there could be a Scorpio somewhere involved. When I when I take my energy away from it, then I I decide I need to just go ahead and sever ties with something. Like I, I really need to just go ahead and sever ties with something and just move on. Again, people don't realize when you take the high road, the things that you've been it's very tempting to vibrate low. I gotta get somebody back for something they did or whatever. But in, when you look at the much bigger picture, it's really sources protection of something you may not be able to see. So it's best to feel like, okay, I just need to get as far away from that as possible instead of staying connected to it and overthinking it, ruminating over something. I need to get as far away from that as possible. I need to just move on from it. So congratulations and kudos to you, Gemini's, for moving on from something that was extremely painful you know, for you and doing things to, you know, you feel like, you know, I felt like a fool. I felt like I was played. You weren't played. You had to learn a lesson and something and something stung like a scorpion sting. But again, you severing ties with something and just deciding to move forward. It's going to be in your best interest. And when I say, there we go. I am protected. That's what I was just about to say before I pulled the card because this tower card lets me know you're divinely protected by source. There's nothing anybody can send towards you to try to harm you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. You just have to keep, the only way that the enemy can come in is through your mind. Can't touch your body, can't touch, you know. So you're fine. Here we have, I am protected, 444. Trust your journey, trust the way that your life unfolds, and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. That's right, 444 is your number. Let's pull one last card and let's close this out. One last card and let's close this out. One last card and let's close this out. One last card and let's close it out. Awareness, affirmations for awareness. Like I said, it was a lesson that somebody needed to learn, you know, um, of, you know, where you put your energy. Sometimes it's not that cut and dry, especially if their kids are involved, Gemini. If there's kids involved, it's not that cut and dry. But you certainly can create a life that where you are flushing out any hurt and toxins, like the, the fire energy right here and this air energy right here, meaning that somebody could have cut you with a sword with their words or actions or even like a blowtorch. It's, it's for you, this is a time of healing for you. Like I said before, you may have paused and said, okay, I'm going to exhibit a great deal of willpower with this before I move forward. When I'm moving forward, I'm moving up, not down. I'm not vibrating lower. I'm going to sever ties completely so I can ascend higher with the situation. So here we go. I am whole. I am present. I am where I need to be. I am focused. I am living in the present moment. I am grateful for this life. I release all mental clutter. Mental blocks are being cleared. I'm telling you, you're protected. You don't have anything to worry about, Gemini's. If if it's if you've gone through something, whether it was a marriage that had came, you know, came tumbling down, or friendships that didn't work out, or whatever happened business relationships that didn't work out source really wants you to sever ties with something so you can ascend higher right this is not where you retaliate this is where you say i'm just going to sever ties with it so i can move ascend higher and i can get the things that i've been praying for so that is what i have for you i will see you all on freedom friday again don't forget to set your intentions you're in, we're in the super moon super new moon phase you know um, plant your seeds of intention what so ask yourself what do you want to manifest during this cycle and go forward to that. That's what I have for you. I'll see you on Friday. Bye.